Hey guys, I'm just doing a little video here. This one was actually done by request. I know it's kind of a little eh, but um, I gotta show somebody how to throw, put, do a click and drag and whatnot um, with a CD. So just bear with me here. And yes, I'm listening to Green Day, but. Alright, well, first things first. I need your CD, so give me a sec here so I can open it. <laughs> Same thing with it. I gotta show you how to do it with iTunes and everything, so. Let's choose. Maybe a blue. She'll like a blue. Just because I figure it's nice. <laughs> Alright, so. Alright, so here we go. First things first. Okay, hold on a sec here. Let me turn up the brightness so you can actually see it. Alright, that's a little easier for you guys. I hope. Alright, so first things first. Well, let's see. Pop open your disc tray. Take your disc. Set it in there. Close it. Give it a minute. Over here, there we go. Run files using the disk to using Windows Explorer. Not Windows Media Player, but Windows Explorer. Hold on, if it'll autofocus, come on. Autofocus not working today for some odd reason. Hold on. There we go. Burn files to disk using Windows Explorer. Yeah, my iPod's being a little picky here and there. Let, see, it says like a USB flash drive. It's already set up, but it'll have to do it on yours too. But hit that. Give it a minute. Formatting. It's going to format it. It's a little dark because, well, let's see. One, okay, 700, 702 megabytes. You click this. Open folder to view files. And then I'll just go like this. For example, my buddy's got an iPod here, uh, here, so he's got a bunch of One Direction. I'm gonna burn him a One Direction CD later eventually. I hate One Direction, but I only I did it just for him. He's got about 40 songs in there. Click and drag those into here. 34 songs, 115 megabytes. It's more than enough to fit 40 songs, so it's gonna take a minute here. It is very dark because I am using an iPod camera, so. See, it's doing its thing, like it should. There, it's bright and it's not going to kill my camera, so. Okay, and you just go like this, open up iTunes. I have not <clears throat> used iTunes on this computer, so we will just go to right here, bring up that CD again, and go like this, new, folder, and we go like this, click and drag this all into this folder right here. didn't take long at all. It takes very little time to go from the CD to the folder. So we'll go like this, minimize this, and then delete all these songs off of here just like you would a flash drive. 
Then you can eject that. If it'll eject, come on. There we go. It'll say preparing to eject. Give it a minute. It's gonna spin for a minute for a minute here. It's just preparing it to be used as a flash drive disc, not a regular burn disc. I'm using an, an HP slash compact. I mean, it's a good computer. I mean, <laughs> but. Well, aside from that, we'll, we'll go back to that here. Go back into iTunes here. You know this. I got Windows 7, so I could just go like this. See, now it ejected, and you just pull that out. All them songs you took from this disc will be right there in that folder that I just created. I'm going to go like this to make it a little easier for myself. Bring this up. Go like this. iTunes takes up about a half a screen, so. But you can just go like this. Click and drag into your iTunes. And then there's all your, there's all your uh, music. For example, I got Three Days of Grace Riot, which I'll play right here. And that's everything. That's all my iTunes and everything. So, But, yeah, that's basically really all you got to do. And then from there, you just plug your iPod in and sync it. Simple process. I mean, you got to go through the things that will walk you through how to sync it and everything with a new iPod. But other than that, that's it. So thanks for watching.